video, we're going to talk about the five worst neighborhoods in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we're getting after it right now. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's uh, Jim Cagle here. Friends call me Jimmy, call me whatever you want. <laughs> but I'm out here right in uh, the city of Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids Metro. And uh, if you've never been to my channel before, I do a ton of videos about what it's like to live in Grand Rapids. All around Grand Rapids, all Grand Rapids Metro, which includes all the cities all the way around it. And what it's like to live here, sleep, eat, play, have fun, how much it costs, all those kind of things. And uh, the main goal of this is to let uh, inform people of what it's like to live in West Michigan. So if you're moving here or you're thinking about coming here, let me know. I'm happy to help out any way I can. I'm a real estate broker here. Um, I, you don't have to be looking for a house to watch these uh, videos. I, I think they're informative either way. But if you'd uh, like to, uh, if you have any questions about moving here, I'm here to help out any way I can. And I've got your back when you're moving to Grand Rapids Metro. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna get right after it right here. Um, this is the top, the top five worst neighborhoods in Grand Rapids. And I've said it before, I'm a pretty positive person so it's kind of hard for me to talk negative. And I want to say that I've never lived in any of these areas. I'm doing it based on just um, price range. So how, how, what's the median average price, the lowest neighborhood to the, to the highest or the top five, not, not highest, but you know, the worst to the fifth worst kind of thing. And, um, and that's what I'm basing off of. Obviously, what's the condition of the homes, the crime, all the things that factor in, hey, do I want to live there, are going to affect it. Um, and I do feel bad. I mean, I, you know, if you grow up in these areas, I'm not against it. I'm just, they're just numbers and they're just facts. And obviously I have empathy for anybody that is living there because that's a tough break to grow up in those neighborhoods. So, um, but anyways, here we are. So if you're moving to Grand Rapids, here's the top five neighborhoods that I would stay out of. Yeah, we're gonna talk about number five, the Southeast community. Um, so this is, the, you know, in reverse order, this is the best one at the top five. So we're gonna go top five, number one being the worst neighborhood, number five being the fifth fifth worst. So number five is the Southeast neighborhood. Um, it's got, uh, the home, median home value is 76,000. So again, way below the average of Grand Rapids, but you know, not terrible. Um, it's, they got about 4,000 people in the area. And um, obviously there's some conditions that make it, you know, where it's at. Uh, the homes are beat down, crime's higher than normal. Uh, there's a, a more unemployment, all the numbers that you'd think about. So, uh, but Southeast community is, is up and coming. There's a lot of nice uh, growth around there. There's people some doing some small flips. So it is up and coming, um, but uh, you know, there you go. Yeah, there's charts for the uh, Southeast community. You can see that the overall ratings in F and most of them are pretty low on here. Uh, this next graph is the shows the population, like I said, 4,000, the median home price, 75,000, 
and the medium uh, income is only 30,500. And then number four on our list is Garfield Park, which is the largest area as far as population of, of the top five. So they got about 15,000 people. And I'm gonna talk about Madison area here in a little bit, but like Madison Avenue, there's a lot of really nice parts about that too. The, area, the neighborhood is on the edge of some really nice neighborhoods. And, um, and they're, they're again, they're up and coming. They've got a good association there. I've, I've, I've heard people talk about it and it's up and coming, but it's still, uh, the average median home price is only 70,000. And, you know, there's still a lot of rundown houses, crimes higher, and, you know, that's, again, that's all gonna, that's gonna affect the area. But with the $70,000 home price, uh, it's the fourth, uh, fourth worst neighborhood. And this graph is showing the rating for the uh, Garfield Park. Again, everything pretty low. Uh, this chart, it shows the population, like I said, around 16,000. The median home price is 69,000, and the median income is 35,000. And number three area is the Madison area, which like I was talking about uh, with the other, with the previous one, there's a lot of really nice parts about where the Madison area is. I mean, there's some really nice neighborhoods around there where the median home price is way up. There, it's only 67,000. And so that's, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> that's pretty low, but there's some really nice areas about it too, like I said, and it's up and coming, so it's on the upside, but there's still, if the average price is only 67,000, you've got high crime, a lot of boarded up houses, and just, you know, not so much boarded up, but just really beat up, run down, not maintained, uh, crimes higher. Uh, I think there's about, I don't think, there's about 4,000 uh, people in that area. So I give you a good idea of that. And then we'll get more into some of the specifics when we talk about, uh, when we go over the charts. Yeah, look at this chart for mass and area. Again, F, <laughs> they're all pretty low. And then you can see the population around, around 3,200. The median home price is 67,000 and the median income is 27,000. Most, uh, the number two worst neighborhood in all over the Grand Rapids Metro is Roosevelt Park. Uh, Roosevelt Park, you know, it's one of the smaller areas. It's got, uh, the average median home price is only 55,000, which is way lower than the rest of Michigan, rest of Michigan and especially uh, the Grand Rapids area. One of the unique things about Roosevelt Park is it, the average age is only 23 which is really young and you know that probably adds to um you know, the price the home of the price is being so low because it's you know they're run down they can't afford to really keep them up and things of that nature so and crimes about i think 15 about 15 percent higher in roosevelt park than the rest of uh the rest of the country so it's definitely you know uh not the best place to live <laughs> You know, this is looking at Roosevelt Park, like we've been talking about. You can see the grades keep getting lower and lower, more and more Fs uh, as we move up this uh, uh, list here. Uh, the population for Roosevelt Park is 6,500 around. Median home prices are 55,000, and the median income is 30,000. Wow, is it really sunny out here, <laughs> which is great. Uh, the number one worst area of all neighborhood of all of Grand Rapids is Black Hills. And the thing is, you have to drive up this huge hill to literally up, you're on top of a hill. It could be really cool, but it's a it's a really rough area. They call it Black Hills because you can see uh, behind me, it's pretty uh, large hill behind me to get up there. So it's a neighborhood way up on a bluff, but uh, not the kind of cool bluff you normally want to be on. <laughs> so the average home price is only fifty thousand. Very small community, uh, but really run down. Lots of houses with you know windows boarded up. Uh, crime is very high up there. Uh, there's a, there's very few stores or anything related to retail around there. I think there's one like liquor store type area, uh, but pretty pretty darn rough. And I'll get into some of the specifics here when I look at the chart. But that's the worst neighborhood is uh, uh, the Black Hills. So, all right, now here we are, the number one worst area, the Black Hills. You can see there's a couple of A's here just because it's inexpensive, but the crime, unemployment, schools, all F's. And by this chart, uh, there's about you know, almost 500 people here. It's pretty small. The median home price is 50,000, and the median income is only 18,600. Okay. Kind of like I talked about in the beginning, uh, these are just facts. I don't like talking about the negative stuff, but it is a reality. Um, if I was gonna move here or visit Grand Rapids, these are five places I would absolutely not move to. Like I said, some of the areas in the fringe are nice and not, they're not bad people there. These are just facts. I'm going off of the median home price. So I'm, it's the lowest uh, median home price. It is what it is, it's just numbers. So it doesn't mean there's not great people to live, live in there. It's just if you're trying to make money in your house, uh, 
this is the least area I'd like to, to move to. So, but like I said before, I'm here to help out anybody. I'm a broker here in the Grand Rapids area. I do a really good job. I got this down. I work with a specialized and a lot of people move into the area from out of the state, out of the country even. I've helped some people. So if you want any help moving to the Grand Rapids Metro or have any questions about it, give me a call, give me a text. You can see my email, my phone number right there. I'm here to help out in any way I can. Thanks.